Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve the decimal equivalent of binary number 0.0111 is what? So in order to convert the given binary uh, fractional number into decimal equivalent number, we have to follow certain steps. So I'll write step number one. It says multiply each digit of a given binary number by its positional weights. Step 2 add all the products. Now let us consider the given binary number. So here 0. 0, 1, 1, 1. So after the decimal point, we need to start counting their positional weight from the left hand side. So 0 first, I'm going to write bit number 0 into 2 to the power minus 1 because after the decimal point, we have to write 2 to the power minus 1 because on the left hand side, after the before the decimal point, right? Before the decimal point, we must get the whole number here. Whole number is 0. So that's the reason on the right hand side we have to write 2 to the power minus 1 next bit is what 1 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 next bit is 1 into 2 to the power minus 3 the last bit is 1 into 2 to the power minus 4 so first step we have multiplied each digit of a given binary number by its positional weight next second step is what add all the products so we need to add all of these products by writing plus sign next 0 into anything will become 0 so write it 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power plus 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 3 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power plus 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 4 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power plus 4 next further we will simplify you just leave this uh, 0 1 into anything will become anything so that is 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 is 4 <coughs> i'll write here 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 1 into uh, 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 2 is to be multiplied three times 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 here i'll write 1 divided by 8 plus 1 into 1 divided by 2 to the power 4 so 2 to the power 4 means we have to multiply 2 4 times 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 here i'm going to write 1 divided by 16 let us check out um, next 1 divided by 4 can be written as 0 0.25 plus 1 divided by 8 so you can divide 1 by 8 so 1 cannot be divided by 8 we will take 0 point so now it will become 10 so 8 1 the 8 1 the 8 so what is the remainder 10 minus 8 gives us 2. So it will become 20. So 8, how much is 20 or less than that? 8, 2 is 16. So it's, uh, 20 minus 16, that leaves us remainder 4. So it will become 40. 8, how much is 40? 8, 5 is 40. So it will become 0 0.125. Similarly, 1 divided by 16. So we will write here 1 divided by 16. 1 cannot be divided by 16. We will take 0 point. Here it will become 10. Still, this numerator is less than that of the denominator 16. So, what we can do is we will take one more 0 to make it 100. So, 16, how much is 100 or less than that? You can write here 16, 5 is a. So, 5, 3 is a. Sorry, uh, 5, 6 is a. 30. 5, 1 is a. 5 plus 3. It will become 80. So, just check it out with 6. 60, 6, 6 is a. 36. 6, 1 is a. Uh, 6 plus 3 is 96 which is very close to 100 so what we can do is 16 ones are 16 6 are 96 100 minus 96 that gives us 4 so you can make it 40 so 16 how much are 40 or less than that you can check out 16 2 are 32 correct 16 3 are check it out 6 3 are 18 6 uh, 3 ones are 3 plus 1 is 48 which is more than this so 32 is close to 40 hence 16 
2s are uh, 32, right? So 40 minus 32, that gives us 8. Make it 80. So 16, how much are 80? Here you can see 16, 5s are. So 16, 5s are 80. So we got 0 0.0625. Here I'll write 0 0.0625. Next, add all of these fractions. 0 0.25. 0 0.125, 0 0.0625. Next, 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, 11 uh, plus 2 is 13. Carry 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we'll write 0. Point. Now we got 0. 0.4375 to the base 10.